Dale Robertson, uh, fantastic bag today, 20 pounds of fish. Um, I guess the first thing I gotta ask you, because a lot of guys are doing it, are you catching them sight fishing? Well, I caught, I had a limit sight fishing, yes. Mm -hmm. I called two or three of them. Any size on those though? I had one, one of those four pounders come off the bed. Okay, yeah. but a lot of, a lot of smaller fish. Well, uh, the other, I had another, the, my smallest fish was three pounder and it came off a of bed that I weighed in. It, it matter of fact, it weighed just a hair over three. Okay. And I, and I called a three pounder, you know, so I'd had 12, 14 pounds off a of bed. So then, uh, how long did you spend actually trying to look at fish um, this morning? Really most of the day. Okay. Yeah. It, uh, You're just trying yeah, to find new water I, was really it. Well, no, I, I mean, I, I looked, I looked a bunch, you know, two days of practice down that way. So, I mean, I was just fishing today. I okay. pretty much knew what pockets to go in and what not to. And of course, there's two or three boats in most of them. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, the crowd factor had to be really big down it there was, today. It was. And like I say, three of the big fish I caught just fishing was what made a difference in, in my stranger and, and what everybody else has got. Now, was there any uh, any sort of a pattern or anything you got dialed in with those those three good fish you caught just kind of going along? Well, I had seen in in that in those areas where I caught them, I seen them cruising. I, I seen big fish cruising. Okay. Practice one evening. Yeah. And that's kind of why you went back in through yeah. those areas. Yeah. So now uh, the big question is because you know you get in a, a tournament where fish are up shallow, uh, a lot of water can get burned on day one. How much water do you have that you think is still viable? The whole lake. Really. Yeah. <laughs> it just won't be as good, you know. Sure. But I've got some places that I, like I say, I've got, I've got some places to go that, you know, I didn't fish today. That This lake's big. It's really big. It is. It's, if you, you know, you want to get on a pattern here. That's, you know, you want to fish a pattern. That's what you want to do. Mm -hmm. And, you know, in that pattern, I found out in practice, though, there's, there's a lot of this lake don't have any fish in it. And, sure. And you'll go to another place that looks just like it, and you'll be cruising fish and fish on beds. And, you know, but in the other pockets, look just like them. There's nothing, you know. So, so it's really just yeah. a matter of staying moving tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Well, man, you're off to a good start, Daryl. Congrats, and uh, hope to see you again tomorrow. Well, I'm, I plan on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Scott Martin, 17-4 today, and I mean, you look out right now. It's a glorious day yeah. out. Uh, seems like a perfect day for sight fishing. Is that what you were doing? I caught I caught a majority of my fish sight fishing today. You know, the problem is that there's just not a lot of real good ones up. Sure. You know, I got really fortunate, had a low boat number, boat 13, lucky 13. So I was able to get on a couple of the right, some of my best fish that I had found early, and I was able to catch them. So that, that helps, you know. The pattern I'm on right now, my biggest bag potential was probably today as far as sight fish goes. Sure. You know, because I went to all my best ones and, and I basically caught what I could catch. Everything else is two pounders, pound and a halfers, and those aren't going to do you any good. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have to... Tomorrow I've got a late day. Hopefully, catch some fish off dock, some better fish. Sure. Those those are starting to bite. I did catch one nice one today off a of dock, um, and then there's some schooling activity as well. And that's, okay. You know that happens late, late in the afternoons as well. So, I've got to develop a few more little things to be able to have a chance to win this tournament. Now uh, I ran into you this afternoon, late this afternoon, um, and you were just cruising around. And you were really looking for new fish, is what you were doing, um, and it seemed as though um, just from general observation of watching guys in the back of these pockets, um, it seems like a lot of fish have been plucked over. Did you notice that on yeah, any fish I'd you say, had marked too? I would say half the ones that I went to were gone. You know, I went to a lot of, you know, two and a half, three pounders, you know, once I had a couple of decent fish just to go ahead and get them and they were gone. Okay. Yeah, a lot of the, a lot of the ones that were up shallow are gone. Well, and, you know, that happens on, especially day one like this, oh, a yeah, lot of guys would pluck them. calm all day today. You know, you'd go in a pocket and look and there'd be a boat coming behind you or a boat leaving. You know, it's it got it got beat up pretty good. Now, uh, you know, with that late afternoon dock pattern, because I, I heard some rumbling from guys too that a lot of guys were complaining about having an early draw today, but right. thankful for it tomorrow. Yep. Um, were you seeing fish cruising too? Not necessarily on a bed, but just no, fish trying to come up at all? I didn't see really any cruising fish at all. Zero. I, I saw a couple, you know, around some pods of bait back sure. in those guts. Yep. But those weren't like spawning cruisers. They were actually just chasing bait. Okay. Those are the ones at school when you get a little wind. Right. All right. Well, uh, Pretty good start for you, Scott. Yeah. You know, you got, got a decent weight there. Tomorrow, piece it together, and uh, we'll see what you can do, All man. Right, man. Congrats. You. All right.